Hello everyone, here is your tutorial for the Punnett Practice Packet Worksheet if you are confused about what you're supposed to do or if you would like a reader. So, number one, for this table you are going to define the following terms in your own words. So the terms that you are going to define, again, doesn't have to be a perfect science definition, it can be however you understand it or remember it. So, define dominant, like dominant trait. Recessive, homozygous, heterozygous, genotype, and phenotype. Pause here before you go on or circle back to this. Question two. For each genotype below, remember the letters mean genotype, the way it looks is called phenotype. For each genotype below, indicate whether it's heterozygous, you can just write H-E, meaning it has two different letters, or homozygous, meaning it has two of the same, whether that's two dominant, two capitals, or two recessives. Either would be homozygous for the organism. You can write he and ho. So capital T, capital T. Capital B, lowercase b. Capital D, capital D. Lowercase d, lowercase d. Capital T, capital T. Capital D, lowercase d. Lowercase f, lowercase f. Capital T, lowercase t lowercase b, lowercase b, and capital B, capital B. So you're just going to write he or ho, whether it's heterozygous or homozygous based on the letters. You can use that little line or you can write out the full word. Number three, determine the phenotype. Remember, pheno is the physical appearance. For each genotype, the genetics, the little letters, the allele pair, using the information provided about SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Yellow body color is dominant to blue body color. So based on these, what color will each of the organisms be below? So your answer should either be yellow or blue or something else. So capital Y, capital Y, is it going to be yellow or blue? Capital Y, lowercase y, yellow or blue? Lowercase y, lowercase y, yellow or blue? Still with SpongeBob, square shape is dominant to round. Remember, SpongeBob's parents are round. They look like cookies. So what shape will each of the organisms below be? So will a capital, capital S be square or round? Write it on the line. Capital lowercase s and two lowercase s's. Write whether they are square or round on the line below. All right, Punnett Squares. If you're stuck on Punnett Squares, go see the video called Punnett Square Tutorial from me. There are tons. Every combination you could possibly have is laid out in that video. So go use that resource if you're stuck or if you do get stuck. So black fur, capital B, in guinea pigs is dominant over white fur, lowercase b. Find the probability of a homozygous, meaning two of the same, whether it's capital or lowercase, offspring, in a cross of capital B, capital B, and capital B, capital B. So I'm just going to show you a sample here, and then you're going to do the square yourself, but you can type on the line. I made it, oops, sorry. And then you can type in the box. So remember, we take this B, we bring it in here, we take this B, bring it in here. Go ahead and finish that for yourselves, okay? And from that Punnett square, determine the probability of a homozygous offspring meaning figure out what homozygous means, what percentage or fraction, so 1 out of 4, 2 out of 4, 3 out of 4, or 4 out of 4, or 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%, or even 0% is homozygous based on this chart. If you're stuck on these words, go to the Punnett Square tutorial video or back to your lesson. Black fur, or Google it. <laughs> Black fur, capital B in guinea pigs, is dominant over white fur, lowercase b. Find the probability of a white offspring in a cross capital B, lowercase b, times lowercase b, lowercase b. Go ahead and do that here. And then figure out the probability of white fur percentage or fraction is fine. Use this sentence if you're not sure which color fur goes with which genetics. All right, number six. Black fur, capital B, in guinea pigs, is dominant over white fur, lowercase b. Find the probability of a white offspring in a cross between two heterozygous guinea pigs. If you're stuck on that vocab, pause and think it through. Then find the probability of white fur and write it on the line. Black fur, capital B, in guinea pigs, is dominant over white fur, lowercase b. Find the probability of a heterozygous offspring in the cross capital B, capital B, times capital B, lowercase b. 
find the probability of the heterozygous, write it on the line. Percentage or fraction is fine for all of these. Number eight, black fur, capital B, in guinea pigs is dominant over white fur, lowercase b. Find the probability of a black fur offspring in a cross lowercase b, lowercase b, times lowercase b, lowercase b. Probability of black fur goes on the line. Number nine, black fur, capital B, in guinea pigs is dominant over white fur, lowercase b. Find the probability of an offspring with the same phenotype as its parents in a cross between a homozygous black and a heterozygous black guinea pig. There you go. Probability of the offspring that match the parent's phenotype. Go figure out what phenotype means. Write it on the line. And 10. One cat carries heterozygous long-haired, capital H, lowercase h, and its mate carries homozygous short-haired traits, lowercase h, lowercase h. Complete the square below for that cross. Then use that square to find the probability of having long hair and the probability of having short hair. Ta-da!